the slide release is ambidextrous on both sides, the safety is ambidextrous on both sides. The Nintendo Zapper Ruger LCP, my Wolverine LCP2. This is a variant of the gun that John Wick used in John Wick 1. He used a P30L, so it's a little bit longer. But you can see the 38 Special along the top. And it looks like it did almost as much damage as the 38 Special, even though the bullet's only about half the size. Shoot her! Yes! For science. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're back out on the range today with Ryan and he's got a uh, crazy gun here. Tell us about it. This is a JTS, um, I believe it's a JTS MAK-12. Uh, this is a 12 gauge shotgun on the AK-47 platform. Um, this is one of the cheaper versions that you can buy. I bought it as an absolute range toy. It has no purpose whatsoever other than to come out on the range and have fun. Um, it does have several gas adjustments up here depending on what size of shell you're using or uh, the power. We're just going to be using some 12 gauge target load um, low brass today. And Five in the up. magazine. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, you pretty much just charge the handle and let it rip. So, How much did this gun run you? I think you can get one of these now for like 250 Oh, bucks. really? Wow, that's cheap. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's not practical. It's just for fun. <laughs> but then again, a lot of my guns, I, I, yeah. no, like I mean, all this, my guns are... This is going to fire semi-automatic like a tactical shotgun would, yes? This is a tactical shotgun. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. But I mean, it even has the safety up here just like on an AK-47 and... It's, a, it's an AK-47, but it shoots 12-gauge. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't even know they made those, so... Yeah! <laughs> this is pretty gnarly. So, I'm just going to kind of... I'm just going to kind of pepper the, uh, the foliage. We have two cabbages there. I am reserving at least one of them for Wes. Um, actually, since we got two, why don't I shoot one, you shoot one? How's okay. that sound? I would imagine that uh, with a shotgun, since they're that close to each other, you could That's probably... I'm moving it! Yeah. <laughs> Safety off. Now, are you are you blowing the shot or the cabbage with this one, or you're just gonna this magazine? Yeah. I was hoping. Okay, let me zoom in on the cabbage first, then, because I want to see it explode. <laughs> <laughs> let me know when you're ready, coaches. All right, go ahead. <laughs> now, fortunately, we have two magazines, two cabbages, and two shooters. So now it's Wes's turn. I'm going to go set him up a cabbage. Want to hold? I'm here with my good friend Wes. He has an AK, but it's a 12 gauge. He's going to make some coleslaw. Yeah. Um. Out of the gate, I'm just, I just—I just want to say this thing weighs a ton. I don't have a whole lot of experience with shotguns, but it feels like this thing weighs a lot, and a lot of it is towards the barrel. Um, this back part seems super de duper light. I think it's because this is plastic, yeah, and everything up here is metal, so it's got a lot of weight in the front. And your uh, your bolt carrier group and all that sits to the front too. Yeah, and I'm guessing that since it's a shotgun, I pretty much just have to shoot in a general area, and it's going to go boom. Yes, for the most part. Yeah. Okay. I do like the charging hand there. All right, let's see what this sucker can do. Goodbye, Mr. Cabbage. Is there a safety on this one? Uh, paddle should be down. Where if you it? already charged it, yeah, you're good. Okay. Yes! That's a lot of kick. <laughs> Yes, you're shooting a little high. Yeah, make that coleslaw. 
Yeah! Well, now I can't see the coleslaw. Anymore. Destroy Bob's target stand. We hated that thing anyway. All right, and you should be out. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. <laughs> this thing has a ton of kick. It almost knocked me on my butt with the first shot. I don't know if my stance was bad or what. Maybe I just didn't have it quite tight enough against my shoulder. Or a combination of the two with my coat on. Um, the rubber is like catching on the coat and I couldn't quite get it in the, in the crook of my, my arm there like it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, I think this might have had more kick than the Desert Eagle even. Hey, uh, Wes. Hmm. You want to try some tall brass? What, this, that has got even more kick? Maybe. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you only live once, Open right? the breech. Mm-hmm. And the, eh, and the, eh. Tall brass, go! <laughs> I get the feeling I'm not going to like this very much. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't that much worse than the other one, in my opinion. Okay, okay. all right. <laughs> I should have brought slugs out with me. I didn't. That's okay. Oh, uh, we actually did a, a test in a bulletproof vest where we put a couple slugs in it. Yeah. That was an interesting experience. I didn't shoot any of them, though. My friend did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. see if the vest would, would hold. And it actually did. We yeah, but you still have broken ribs in a bad oh, day. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, you'd live. The slug did make it through the vest, but only barely. Yeah. But you'd still go to the hospital. Oh, yeah. But I was surprised. I wore that thing for five years of my career and I was like wow now that it's shot to death I actually felt pretty good <laughs> wearing that thing it, it would have saved me yeah anyway back to this gun um it's pretty awesome for a 250 dollar toy or whatever you said yeah for people that like shotguns this thing is super cool <laughs> um not not quite something that I would be interested in but it is pretty awesome it's a range toy yeah. that's all it is it's for making coleslaw well we, we definitely made some coleslaw <laughs> I'm hoping that I can get that on slow-mo and we can watch the cabbages go flying, but we'll see how that goes. The mayhem. <laughs> the carnage. <laughs> this is where you insert some kind of a, a nihilistic poem about the deceitfulness of wealth and the, 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 the frail nature of life. No, I was thinking we're, we've got a buffet set up for the deer whenever they get back to the That is true. <laughs> They're going to be psyched. All you need to do is ring the dinner bell at this point. Pretty much. As soon as the guns start going off. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, AK-47 shotgun, pretty awesome. Thanks for sharing it with us, Ryan. And thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.